Hello friends, in this video we will try to understand that how to segregate 0 and 1 from the given array. This is same like how we have done for the even and odd segregation. Right, so this is my input value 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. And this is my output value after segregation. So 0 would be in the left side and right would be uh, 1 would be in the right side. Okay, so how we are going to solve this? We'll use the swapping techniques to solve this problem. Okay, so in this technique what we will do, we'll just take two pointers. So one pointer would be left and the another pointer would be right. So left we will start from here and right we will start from here. Okay, and we'll keep shifting the value. If Like you know, we'll uh, check the value. If this is zero, okay, this is fine. Then again, we'll increment the value and we'll check the second value. Okay, this is also zero, this is fine. Again, we'll uh, increase the value and check here. This is one, so this is not zero, right? Then it will move to the right side. Now we will check like one, uh, this is one, right? So this is fine. Again, again, we'll uh, decrease the value and check here. Okay, this is one, this is also fine. This is one, this is also fine. Now we'll check here, zero. Okay, this is not fine because um, zero should be in the left position, right? So now what we will do, we'll just uh, swap the position. One with zero and zero with one. Okay, so let's go to the code and then we'll find out. So here you can see that, right? This is my input value. Here I have created one method, segregate uh, zeros and one, and here I am passing this input value, okay? So here what I have done, I have created one left and right. So left will be start from zero and right would be like array dot length minus one, okay? Now what I will do, I'll check like, you know, left should be always less than right. Then only we are checking, otherwise there is no need to check anything. Then what we will check, what is the value of left, right? So what is the value of left here? Okay, so this is zero, right? And left is uh, less than right. So in that scenario, what we will do, we'll just increase the value. Now it will go here. Okay, it will check. Okay, this is also the zero, this is fine. Then it will again increase the value and again it will come here. Is this zero? No, it's not zero. Then it will come out from, uh, uh, from here. It will come out from here and it will come here. Okay, in the right side again it will show. So it will check like this. So one, 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 and till one it will check and in place of zero it will come out. And after that what it will do, it will swap the position. So this is logic for swapping the position. This is very simple logic where we are storing, we have created one time variable and inside that we are just storing the value of left side. After that we are just moving the value from left, left to the right side and then we are just reassigning the value. Okay, and then we are just increasing the value and decreasing the right side uh, value. So I'll just debug the code and then I'll show you. So I'll, I'll place one breakpoint here and then I'll place one breakpoint here as well. I'll start my application now. I'll put one F10. So now left will be start from zero and what is the right? So right is nine, okay? Now left is less than right. This is fine, this is zero and this is nine. What it will do, now again it will check. Uh, what is the value of uh, zero position zero okay this is fine then what it will go it will increase the value again it will go it will again check here okay this is also zero now again it will increase the value again it will come here and it will check okay one this is one right so this is not equal to zero then it will come out from this now again it will go to the right side and it will start checking from here okay so one uh, okay this is fine this is again it it will go it will it has decreased the value and it again it is checking here this is one also one so right side value is one so it will keep shifting okay it will keep shifting until all values are completed okay and after that what it will do it will just uh, swap the value so i'll put one continue here so now you can see the value right so this is i have segregated the value so this is zero left side and right uh, one at right side Okay, so here the time complexity is big of n because we have just taken one loop and the space complexity would be big of one because this space is constant everywhere. So I hope you have understand this logic. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.